This is Dan of Vagabond Buddha. I'm going to show you pictures of Puerto Varta as I discuss why I believe it is one of the best live or retire cheap in paradise locations. But don't write anything down as you listen. Everything I say is in writing at Vagabond Buddha with Google map links. Just click the link in the notes below this YouTube video uh, and you'll get to read Puerto Vallarta, Mexico, Low Cost of Living, Puerto Vallarta, Mexico, Retire Cheap in Paradise, uh, Puerto Vallarta, Best Romantic Zone Free Walking Tour and Map, Best Day Tours, Best Nightlife, Best Restaurants, uh, Best and Cheap Hotels, Best Flights, Buses and Trains, and best travel or retire cheap to paradise locations in the world. This is Dan of Vagabond Buddha. Here's my Puerto Vallarta, Mexico, retire cheap in paradise guide. I'm compiling a list of the top places to retire cheap in the world. My search has taken me to 64 countries so far. I visit family in the USA a few weeks per year, but keep moving forward internationally otherwise. When I hear about a great new place, I head off and investigate. Subscribe here or at my YouTube channel if you want to know the best travel cheap to paradise locations in the world. I travel and share the best places to retire or live cheap. Before discussing why Puerto Vallarta is a great choice, here are some fun Wikipedia facts about Puerto Vallarta. Uh, prehistoric archaeological evidence suggests continuous human, human habitation in this area since about 600 before Christ, but the ancestors of the Azatlan culture, which dominated in Jalisco from 900 to 1200 AD. Uh, Conquistador documents dated 1534 describe a battle between Spanish colonizers in this area and 10,000 indigenous people carrying colorful banderas, which are flags. There are sailing logs dating back to the 17th century of smuggling and piracy operations in this area, but only 800 people lived here 200 years later in 1885. In 1918, the village was officially named Puerto Vallarta after the Jalisco state governor, Ignacio Vallarta. In the 1950s, Puerto Vallarta started to attract Americans, mostly disgruntled artists and writers who objected to the conservative politics or McCarthyism in the USA. In 1964, John Huston filmed The Night of the Iguana in nearby Miss Maloya. Media coverage of an, affid of an affair between Richard Burton and Elizabeth Taylor put Puerto Vallarta on the tourist map for Americans. In the 1970, US President uh, Nixon came to Puerto Vallarta to negotiate a treaty with Mexican President Ordaz. In 1982, tourism to Puerto Vallarta escalated from a peso devaluation that made Mexico a bargain for travelers with foreign currency. Competition from other Mexico tourist destinations such as Estapa and Cancun took some of Puerto Vallarta's tourism in the 80s. But foreign interest in Puerto Vallarta returned in about 1993 when Mexican land ownership law allowed foreign retirees and snowbirds to buy condos in Old Town, Puerto Vallarta, the romantic zone. Uh, best Puerto Vallarta romantic zone free walking tour. If you're a more sophisticated traveler or considering Puerto Vallarta for a second home or a retirement destination, or just to live cheap, you'll likely be interested in what international tourists call the romantic section of Puerto Vallarta. The romantic area is the charming, authentic area of Puerto Vallarta. Even if you are just here as a tourist to drink and have fun, you should spend at least a day or two in the romantic area of Puerto Vallarta so you'll understand what Mexico is really about. If I am right, I think you'll want to spend your entire time in the romantic zone of Puerto Vallarta. Uh, there's a free Google map, a best romantic Puerto Vallarta walking tour. Uh, just click the link and start walking. Um, it visits Malacan and it's an interactive uh, Google map, so it'll tell you which way to turn. And there's also um, a, a separate video uh, when I actually walk this and discuss it. And so you're invited to click the link below this YouTube video, come to our webpage, and, and uh, either watch the video 
uh, or look at the pictures and explanations and see if you're interested. And if you are, just click the link and go on this romantic uh, uh, Porte de to uh, Google Maps walking tour. It, it takes you through the uh, waterfront, which is beautiful and full of sculptures. It takes you by Plaza de Armas and the uh, Our Lady of Guadalupe Parish Church. Um, and it takes you to Casa Kimberly uh, in the Romantic section, past the home uh, where, or the boutique hotel where Richard Burton and Elizabeth Taylor had their affair. Um, if you're enjoying this, could you please like it, share it on social media, comment below, or subscribe? Your approval will rank as higher in search engines. The Romantic Tour next takes you to Gringo Gulch. This is the area that American writers and artists lived to escape from the conservative McCarthyism area of the 50s. Um, make sure to cross the Gringo Gulch Bridge, which is on the walking tour, and look at the beautiful homes along the river. Gringo Gulch is also where Casa Kimberly is, which I mentioned a moment ago. Uh, after you cross the Gulch Bridge, you'll end up in Kuala River Island. This is just a charming little tree-shaded island that you have to see that also happens to have a flea market if you need to buy souvenirs to take home. Make sure to walk all the way to both ends of the island, both east and west, and get some pictures of Gringo Gulch, uh, Gulch when you're on the west side or the east side. Uh, Playa Los Muertos Pier. This pier is the last stop on the Port of Arta Romantic Zone free walking tour. Uh, this tour will give you a really great idea of what Port of Arta, why Port of Arta is one of the best places to live or retire cheap in paradise. If you're hungry when your tour ends, click the link and walk a few blocks more to our favorite restaurant in Port of Arta called Salud Superfoods. Really nice. If you book my recommended flights, tours, or accommodations, you'll pay nothing extra, but will earn a small commission. If you'd like to learn how to make money online or how to live internationally, possibly with less money than you spend at home, please subscribe to Vagabond Buddha or get a free copy of my ebook. It's at the link provided below this YouTube video. Best day tours and map of Puerto Vallarta, guided tours, uh, Viento Tour has a bunch of great deals on day tours in and around Puerto Vallarta. Just click the link provided uh, to see what is available. When we were there, they had uh, tours starting from about $42 for Sunset Ocean Cruise. Uh, there were ATV adventures, island snorkeling tours, VIP nightclub tours, city highlight tours, zipline jungle tours, food tours, tequila tasting tours, beach tours, and archaeological site tours. Then there's two uh, self-guided tours, um, cheap bastard tours, I call them. If you have more time than money or you just uh, are like me, you're cheap, here are a few free self-guided tours uh, around Puerto Vallarta. The first one I take you on, uh, there's a video on the webpage also, is the free Marina Vallarta walking tour. Um, walk around this beautiful marina and check out the boats, cafes, shops, and restaurants. The above video will teach you how to get from Puerto Vallarta Centro to Marina Vallarta for seven pesos, about 60 cents on a local bus each way per person. Uh, the second cheap bastard tour um, is Puerto Vallarta Malacan Free Bronze Sculpture Walking Tour. Uh, this is a tour that there's a beautiful sculptures along the waterfront that are made of bronze. And this uh, is my tour of those, uh, so you know what to look for, uh, artists, uh, what year, and that sort of thing. There's also a video on the web page. You can watch the video and my interpretations of these sculptures before you decide to take the tour. And then you can click a Google Maps walking tour to walk to each one of these. Um, but my favorite one, I'll just review for you quickly here. Uh, it's called El Unicornio de la Buena Fortuna. Uh, the Fortunate Unicorn by Annabelle Reibling, 2011. Um, picture here. This piece symbolizes the awakening Buddha experience. Buddha saw that his true nature was consciousness itself. His mind had formed a conceptualized view of self that wasn't his true identity. The synthetic shell on the outside of the true nature of the unicorn represents the unicorn's conceptualized view of self. 
a living awareness of a conceptualized self that is believed into existence was all that Buddha needed to see to be free from suffering. If this artist didn't stumble into this symbol of enlightenment, she may have access to the freedom from suffering that Buddha talks about. There's 10 uh, sculptures, that's just one interpretation. Um, you're welcome to watch my video and click that and go on that tour. Then there's a best uh, nightlife walking tour, uh, which also includes a map and a list of uh, nightclubs uh, and pool halls and different things you can do at night. Um, just click the link uh, with all the other tours in your smartphone and start walking. Uh, just skip the, one, the bars that don't sound like you're seen. Um, the first one is uh, the best jazz club, the Jazz Foundation, uh, if you're into jazz. The next one is, a, is the best country western, uh, the Redneck Sombrero. Um, if you like country, this is where you want to go. Then there's a sports bar, a paradise sports bar you can check out. Then there's the best pool party in town, Mantamar Beach Club. Are you looking for a good pool party? Uh, then there's a best pool or billiards hall in Puerto Vallarta, Billarama and Pacifico. Um, and all of these have Google Map links. Uh, and then best live rock. If you're into live rock, there's a Rocky, Roxy Rock House. And then uh, what turned out to be our favorite, there's a best old school dance music place called Andale. Uh, it's a hip hop and uh, funk and that sort of thing. It's really fun dance music from 1995 through about 2015. Uh, just drink the beer though, the three and four shot drink bargains seem uh, watered down. Um, and then there's a link here to the best uh, gay club, La Noche. Uh, and then finally at the bottom, uh, there's a best 20 or 30 something pickup joint, best electronic techno house songs that all sound the same to me, best bottle service B VIP cover charge. Uh, these three nightclubs are right next door to each other. They're not my scene, so I'm kind of making fun of them, but you'll have a blast if they're your scene. Mandela, The Zoo, and La Vaquita. Again, all of this information is on our webpage. Click the link below this YouTube video. And then finally, um, best restaurants in Puerto Vallarta. Um, number one rated restaurant in Puerto Vallarta is called Salud Superfoods. We both love super healthy foods, so we, went, we had to go here. It's rare to see a healthy food restaurant get the number one online rating of all the restaurants in a city the size of almost a quarter million people. I had a, a Pachamama, which is a vegetarian burger, and it was the best veggie burger I've ever had anywhere in the world. That's after more than three decades as a vegetarian. Uh, Chung totally loved her Thai chicken Super Bowl. Uh, the bill was $11.50, um, so it's crazy cheap for the highest rated restaurant in the city and it was so good. Uh, we've actually been back three times and we bought some to-go food for traveling today. We leave uh, Puerto Vallarta today uh, after seven days. The next one, best family style Italian restaurant, L'Angelo de Napoli. I'm a big fan of finding family owned smaller Italian restaurants with great food and prices. If they are focused on the food and service and know how to make great Italian food, I don't mind sitting on plastic chairs, uh, uh, furniture. This is one of those places. For the two of us with dinner, a shared salad, drinks, the bill was just 500 pesos or $25. Uh, the next pick was Planeta Vegetariano. Uh, you don't need to memorize these. They're all, in, they're all on the webpage. Just click the link below this video. They have a great breakfast buffet. They also have a great lunch buffet. For breakfast, they have vegetarian versions of a few traditional Mexican dishes along with fruits, juices, coffee, pancakes, granolas, tortillas, and much more. It's all you can eat for about 80 pesos or about $4 per person for breakfast. Best Portobello burger, La Cefeseria Union. I had a delicious Portobello burger here. Chung Hui had an oyster starter and octopus tacos. It faces the water on Malacom and had reasonable prices for its location. Best oysters served on the beach. Um, there's a link here. I'm not going to try to pronounce it. Uh, just click the link and go there. It's below the Malacan on the beach, toe, toes in the sand. Chung Hui found a family uh, selling fresh oysters on the beach every day from about 10 to 2 uh, during the day. They're 120 pesos for 12 oysters, um, which is, um, what is that, $6? Um, 
And they have a salsa they make in front of you there and a long table where their customers eat. It's nothing fancy, but she really enjoyed it. Best street food on Malacan, other than those oysters. Every evening there are stalls selling all sorts of food and drinks on Malacan, just south of the dancing dolphins water fountains, a link provided. Uh, the food stalls start at about 100 feet from the dolphins on the south side. The second stall going south has sausages, Chen Hui really loved. She went there twice. They cost 35 pesos or $1.60. Um, also, Vagabond Buddha's Kitchen. I love to cook, plus I'm a vegetarian. We, we bought groceries at this link provided grocery store and cooked at least one meal at home a day, sometimes two. Our Airbnb apartment was about 25 a night and it had functional kitchen with a full-size refrigerator. And so the link to our Airbnb apartment is below also. If you book my recommended flights, tours, or accommodations, you'll pay nothing extra, but we'll earn a small commission, which brings up best and cheap hotels in Puerto Vallarta. I recommend staying in the romantic zone of Puerto Vallarta. That is where you can immerse yourself in Mexican culture and life. If you stay in an all-inclusive hotel or in a huge hotel in the gringo areas, you won't really get the taste uh, the true flavors of Mexico. Try to stay in the area I have marked in red in the below Google map of Puerto Vallarta link provided. Uh, the, uh, the, um, they're all on the same web page actually. Uh, the following are a few great places that you should consider depending on your budget. They go from most to least expensive. Then I show you where we stayed. Casa Kimberly, which I mentioned, Elizabeth Taylor fell in love with Richard Burton there, 265 at night. This is arguably the most romantic place in Puerto Vallarta. This is the boutique hotel where they fell in love during the filming of Night of the Iguana in Puerto Vallarta. Um, check out the prices, uh, the reviews, and the pictures. Um, there's a link provided. Second choice, La Palpa 306. Uh, this is 1,800 pesos a night, about 90 US dollars. In case you want to be on the beach with a view, this one is a good choice. Check out the pictures, reviews. Um, this is an apartment with a, a full kitchen and sleeps up to four people. And then uh, Garlands del Rio, this would be more my style if I wanted a hotel room. It's 900 pesos or $45. This one is full of personality, right across from Gringo Gulch. Check out the reviews, the pictures, and prices. It's hard to imagine a more romantic uh, place, especially at $45 per night on the day we searched. And then there's a hostel here. Hostels don't not much of a break over the Airbnb I'm uh, about to tell you about where we stayed. But some people want to stay in hostels, so this is going to be your best choice for that. Um, it's $30 per night for a single person. Uh, our Airbnb apartment um, was $25 per night for two people. It's a two bedroom, one bath, furnished apartment, functional kitchen, has a big patio and views of the Pacific Ocean. It's about six blocks from the sand in the romantic zone. The pictures are exactly what the place looks like. I would stay here again without hesitation. It's a steep cobblestone street that cars can't drive up. So think about that before booking. If you're, if you're new to Airbnb, there's a code here you can use for a big discount. Links to all this provided. Um, I started living internationally over 11 years ago. If you'd like to learn how to make money online or how to live internationally, possibly with less money than you spend at home, please subscribe to Vagabond Buddha or get a free copy of my ebook. Um, just come to the webpage. Uh, best flights, buses, and trains. We've been traveling around Mexico for over a month now. We are looking for the best retire or live cheap in paradise destination. We started in Mexico City and have visited San Miguel de Allende, Guanajuato, Guadalajara, Chapla, and Ajajit before coming to Puerto Vallarta. I've, I've been exploring the world since 2007, 64 countries so far. We took the Vallarta Plus bus from Guadalajara to Puerto Vallarta. Right click in your Chrome browser to translate into English. It takes about four and a half hours to get to Puerto Vallarta and costs 550 pesos or $28 per person. We checked three large bags for no extra fees. You can fly into Puerto Vallarta International Airport um, there are a few taxi drivers that uh, really try to take advantage of tourists in Puerto Vallarta. I heard a taxi driver quote $25 to a tourist for a destination that we had just arrived from when I heard the quote. 
we spent $4. Uh, so use Uber to get to your accommodation so you don't have to negotiate directly with drivers. International flights, Skyscanner always seems to have the uh, cheapest flight no matter where I'm flying in the world. I find that Tuesday or Wednesday departures are typically the cheapest day of the week. When you land in Mexico, get a Mexican SIM card for your smartphone. They call them chips here. One of my friends roamed while he was in Mexico and paid $700 for seven days. Get your phone unlocked if you are from the USA so your phone can accept the chip. Or borrow a friend's old phone that's unlocked when you come to Mexico. National flights. If you're flying to Puerto Vallarta from somewhere else in Mexico, you get your ticket on Skyscanner. Again, they have the cheapest fares. Uh, buses. Both ETN and Primera have buses throughout Mexico to Puerto Vallarta. You can visit uh, the English ETN website or right click in your Chrome browser to translate into English. Uh, Uber, I use Uber, as I said, when I'm in Mexico. I don't have to negotiate prices and they come right to wherever I am. Train, there's just one passenger train still running in Mexico and it does not go to Puerto Vallarta. Uh, if, you, if you book my recommended flights, tours, or accommodations, you'll pay nothing extra, but we'll earn a small commission. If you'd like the, to live cheap or retire early in paradise, learn how to make money online or how to live internationally, possibly with less money than you spend at home, please subscribe to Vagabond Buddha or get a free copy of my ebook. Thank you for stopping by Vagabond Buddha. Finally, Puerto Vallarta, Mexico, low cost of living. This uh, post uh, also includes my Puerto Vallarta cost of living guide. As I say, my mission is to travel the world and find the best low cost of living destinations. Um, you see, I'm not the typical retirement age yet, plus I may never retire because I enjoy working as a digital nomad, but I do enjoy reporting the best low cost of living, live or retire cheap in paradise destinations. Luckily, I've been mostly a digital nomad since 2007. That means I don't need to be anywhere in particular to earn money. So I earn US dollars, but I spend them in beautiful places that are much cheaper to live. That means I don't have as much pressure to work crazy hours in order to keep up or get ahead. If you live a normal life, making just enough money to live will never allow you to retire early, if at all. But making just enough money to live buys you initial freedom if you're a digital nomad. Most digital nomads are chasing the new economy. The new economy is based upon what is called passive income. Many are looking for passive income, although traditional jobs are also uh, done by digital no nomads. Passive income is a business that you set up initially with a great amount of time and effort that continues to pay you for a long period of time, even if you only work part-time or travel like me. That's why digital nomads are attracted to the internet. If you set up a web page, it pays you about 2500 a month. You can live like a king or queen in many countries around the world. 2500 per month buys a much better life in Southeast Asia, Eastern Europe, Mexico, and Central or South America. U ultimately, you may decide not to settle down at all. You may pick a permanent place to retire or live cheap. Maybe you just will just decide to put off, uh, put all of my, of my low cost of living, live or retire cheap in paradise locations in a traveling rotation. Maybe they'll end up like me. Uh, this post has the low cost of living data for Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. About two percent of the Americans live in Mex. Two percent of the Americans that live in Mexico uh, live in Puerto Vallarta. Since there are about one million Americans spending at least part of the year in Mexico, that means Puerto Vallarta has about twenty thousand expats who spend at least part of the year here. That does not count tourists who just visit for a week or so. Above is the place where we stayed for a week in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico, for 25-ish dollars per night. Uh, click the best and cheap hotels link above to see where we stayed. There's also a code uh, you can use to get a possible discount. Livability factors. My livability factors are unlikely to be the same as yours, but I think it's important to discuss them so you can contrast your own thinking with mine. I like living in highly walkable, charming areas with everything I need to have a good time uh, nearby. Uh, I like cheap prices, great internet, great weather, a bunch of things to do and an opportunity to socialize. I like to have a quiet place to go back to, but I like to have people around me when I so choose. Here is how Puerto Vallarta stacks up 
under those requirements. Walkability. Puerto Varta Old Town Romantic Zone is extremely walkable. We have literally only gotten in an Uber taxi once in seven days. We bought so many groceries, we couldn't carry them home. We also got on a local bus once uh, to get to uh, Marina Vallarta for a day trip. Uh, we have walked everywhere else. It's so walkable that you would not need a car at all if you decide to live or retire cheap in Puerto Varta. As you can imagine, not having a car will help create low cost of living. Uh, internet. The best kind of internet is when it works so well that you forget it is even there. The Wi-Fi connection in our Airbnb apartment is that good. Uh, food. Almost everything is here. Italian, Mexican, vegetarian, French, Greek, American, Peruvian, Lebanese, Chinese, Indian, Thai. The food is unlikely to be an issue for you here. If you're enjoying this, could you please like it, share it on social media, comment below, or subscribe? Your interaction will rank us higher in search engines. Weather. Puerto Varto has amazing weather most of the year. The warmest month is August. The average high for the day in August is 93, which is 34 Celsius. The average low at night in May is 73 uh, Fahrenheit or 23 Celsius. It cools down a little bit at night in the summer from the Pacific Ocean breeze, but some people need air conditioning at night to sleep comfortable while they're in Puerto Vallarta. We are here in August and a fan is enough for us at night. The coolest month of the year is February. The average low at night in February is 61 Fahrenheit or 16 Celsius. The average high for the day in February is 84 Fahrenheit or 29 Celsius. The rainy season is June through September when it rains 7 to 14 inches per month or 187 to 370 millimeters. There's not much rain the rest of the year. Things to do. This is a charming beach town of 200,000 people. It attracts visitors from all over the world including vacationers, snowbirds, and permanent retirees. There is a huge expat community here also. All of the ocean water sports are here. The romantic section has many international citizens, including retirees and snowboards. And there's a large foreign influence that has diversified the types of restaurants, stores, and foreign products that have been able to remain profitable and stay open. There's also a Walmart near Marina Vallarta. There is not much live theater, symphony, or dance here. Um, professional dance. There is an there is an expats in Vallarta Facebook page if you want to learn about a sp specific things to do. Links are provided for all these things. Uh, social considerations. You'll be able to make expat connections here, but you'll need to learn Spanish if you want to live a diverse, interesting life here. The expats here seem to be more partial year visitors than in other places in Mexico like Chapala, Ajajic, or San Miguel de Allende. You'll need to supplement with Mexican friends if you want to live a full life here year round. Desire to move here. My personal desire is high. This place is perfect for me. It has everything I need to have a great life for six months of the year, October through April. The other six months I would continue traveling the world. If I wanted to stay over the summer here, I would definitely get a place of air conditioning. Real estate, I wouldn't buy anywhere in the world right away. If I picked the best place in the world, I would live there for a few years before making a purchasing decision. The rents are reasonable enough that buying could wait. I've posted a few places for sale at the bottom of this post just so you could get an idea of prices, but I wouldn't use them uh, right away. Here are my estimated costs of living one month in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico as a temporary visitor. If you rented a furnished apartment by the month, it could get cheaper. You can rent a furnished one bedroom apartment ranging from about 400 to 1200 US per month, depending on how modern and how close you want to be uh, to the romantic zone. The below prices are for one person and do not include tours or air conditioning uh, or alcohol. If you want an estimate for a year round, plan on buying AC for three months of the year for a one bedroom apartment, that would be about $100 per month to add for those three months. Okay, monthly cost of living. Um, there's not much of a low in here because the pack, backpack, backpacker hostel is $30 per night. Um, but you, so um, it's gonna be about 1200 
to 1400 per night um, to live here. And that includes your expenses, uh, rest, two meals a day in restaurants. Um, it includes um, uh, restaurants or food carts, depending on whether you're a low, medium, or high cost of living uh, traveler. For more information about, how, uh, by the way, this is there's a table here. Just click the link and you can see how all this breaks out. For more information about how the cost of living multiplier works, there's another uh, link on them that you can click at Vagabond Buddha. It'll explain it to you. Uh, please subscribe if you'd like to receive the cost of living estimates for our next Mexico stop or any of these previous ones. Uh, we're heading out of Puerto Vallarta tonight. If you'd like to learn how to make money online or how to live internationally, possibly with less money than you spend at home, please subscribe to Vagabond Buddha or get a free copy of my ebook. This is Dan of Vagabond Buddha. Thank you for stopping by. The world is your home. What time will you be home for dinner?